Given square RSTV where RS is equal to 9 centimeters, so let me draw out square RSTV. So whenever you're drawing any geometric figure from a description, make sure that you are labeling either in a clockwise or counterclockwise orientation. And it doesn't matter which one you, you pick, the outcome is going to be the same. Uh, so RS is equal to 9. If square RSTV is dilated by a scale factor of 3, about a given center, what is the perimeter in centimeters of the image of RSTV after the dilation? So the center of dilation, it can be placed anywhere, and it actually has no impact as to uh, how the resultant um, image or the, the size of the resultant image. The placement of the center will, however, dictate where the location of the uh, dilated image is going to reside. So if we place the dilated center in the middle here, then the uh, image is going to reside over the existing object. If we place the dilated, uh, if we place the dilating center somewhere else, uh, then the location of the dilated image is going to be someplace else. Uh, one of the properties that you need to be aware of um, involving uh, a, a dilation factor and its impact on the perimeter is that the perimeter, let's say if P is the original perimeter, the image will have the perimeter be multiplied by K. Okay, so it's the original perimeter multiplied by K. Because the factor here is 3, we're going to multiply the perimeter of the original object by 3. So in this case, P is equal to 36 because it's 4 times 9. So the image will have a perimeter of 36 times 3. And that will be 108 centimeters. And that would be option 4. While we're on the subject of um, the impact of um, the dilation factor on the perimeter, let's uh, maybe take like another 10 seconds to talk about the area. The area, right, of the original here is uh, 9 times 9, and that's 81. The area of the image, even though this question is not asking for it, we're not going to be multiplying by k, but we're going to be multiplying by k squared. Right? And the reason for that is all the dimensions are multiplied by k, right? So if you think about it, it's like saying 9k times 9k, right? So therefore, it's going to be 81 times 3 squared. And what is that? That's going to be uh, 729 centimeters squared, okay? But again, this question is not asking for the impact of the area. It's only asking for the impact of the perimeter.